Guys, welcome here to the Blacksmith. We're back in the shipping container today. But before we do that, I gotta thank two people. Eric, Scott, you guys, seriously, thank you so much for your recent purchase of an ax or hatchet, actually. Thank you so much. So, let's jump right into what we're doing today. Last left it off. Just put these two in. Check it out. This side's done. Do, 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 do. Got some smaller panels on here. The plan is, I'm gonna take these boxes, these ones, yes, these ones, whoop. And these are gonna get mounted up like so. Now, just to keep comments at bay, get it to light a little better. I want you to know, yes, I am no self-claimed electrician at all. That's why I actually hired an electrician to do the job, but I'm putting the boxes out. So I hope I can handle that. We'll see. Now, I don't want to be known as a guy that over-dramatizes small moments, but this is a monumental, huge moment as I put my first screw. Oh wait, is that gonna land into the shipping container? Uh, we're gonna move that a little bit over this way. Okay, I need some earplugs. Ah, oh, that is so loud. I wish the guy who put this uh, box on would have put it like two inches higher, but whatever, Martin. Hopefully it wasn't a mistake to uh, put the panel so low. What I was wanted is I wanted the conduit just go straight out, but it could have been a little bit higher and we could have snagged the bottom holes. That's a little bit, uh, I didn't quite communicate that clearly to Martin as he was kind enough to mount these brackets on the wall for me. How do you tighten that up? <gasps> I think I need a hammer. Oh yeah! Now we're talking. Oh, it's raining like crazy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Martin. Ooh, the forge. Are you heat treating? Oh, this is where I want to be. This is cozy. I'm a little bit envious of your job right now. <laughs> I'm looking for a hammer. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Thank you. We're back, we're back, we're back. But what I'm wondering is if I could do, is if I could cut the conduit, basically half this, so that I could actually slide the conduit in a little bit if I have to take the box off. The conduit only sat halfway in, then it could move that, that way, it would actually come out. You could take the box off if you had to. I don't know if that's overthinking it or not. Got it cut and I did a little deeper on it. Let's go put it in. Will it fit? Here we go. I'm surprised that it doesn't have more wiggle room than that. I guess that doesn't work. So there's not enough um, play. I'm surprised there's not enough play to get that in. Everybody who's watching this who's an electrician is just killing themselves right now like, Tim, get this figured out. Sorry. I think I'm gonna do this one here, get that bend figured out, and then we'll keep going down. That's pretty fun. Just trying to figure out where to put the second bend. Just gonna go with that. 
So it's looking a little bit weird. I didn't leave enough material, but that's why this is a test. Let's see how my jog is looking. We're looking close. So I got it bent up. It's a little bit rough, but we're gonna go see if that's gonna work for us. Check it out, first one in. Digging it. Let's run these conduits. Let's run them, boys. I just got all these plugs lined up and uh, can't do it in and everything. So that's a nice string there. And uh, we're gonna start working on the other side now. All right, gonna go cut that. So check it out. I know it's dark here at the front, but we got the conduit and plugs all the way around. It's pretty exciting. I was actually surprised how much I enjoyed doing this just because it's completely different and it's building a bigger project. It's kind of cool. So what's going to happen now here? Was I going to have another conduit line come out? That'll be for the 240 volt. I only have one plug on this side that's 240. So the big run for that. And then we're gonna go around here. And then down and then I'm gonna set up another four on this one. And we gotta get lighting in and we have to run the big wire from the main shop into this one. I uh, did wanna quickly say an update on stuff that's shipping out. I know that some of you have been waiting a long time for the bottle openers. And my apologies for that. They're gonna ship out tomorrow. The Hudson Bay axes that were pre-sold for shipping out at the end of the month are on target, so those will be shipping out tomorrow. The 1913 Blackhawk hatchets that were supposed to ship out at the end of this month, it's like October 1st tomorrow, those unfortunately are a little bit behind and those are going to ship out next week. And my apologies for that. So if you bought a Hudson Bay axe and a 1913 Blackhawk hatchet, Together, those will ship together. So some of you will have a little bit of delay on your Hudson Bay axes. But thank you so much, like seriously, to all of you who are purchasing products, merch, viewing, subscribing, commenting. Thank you so much. I super appreciate that. And for the video tomorrow, I'm actually seriously thinking I'm gonna not publish a video tomorrow because I just got a whole bunch of random things to do and all the shipping stuff. And honestly, that's not that interesting. So it might be Monday till I see you again. Thank you for watching. Super appreciate it. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep the forge light, hey?